Ted has 10 pounds of turkey. If each person eats one-third of a pound, how many people can he feed? Okay, see we still have the 10 and the one-third in the problem, and we're still talking about turkey. But this time, he has a turkey that weighs 10 pounds, and he's trying to take that 10 pounds of turkey and split it up into slices and our cut off little portions that are each one third of a pound. So we're, it's, we you just have to imagine taking the 10 pounds of turkey and splitting the turkey up. Before we weren't splitting anything up, but here we're splitting up the turkey. So it, we've made it into a division problem. How many people can he feed? So we're going to take the 10 pounds and divide the 10 pounds up into thirds. It said it's just like you're cutting off little slabs that are each a third of a pound. So this becomes division. So I have 10 divided by a third. So in order to be able to do that, I need to put a 1 under my 10 to make everything look like fractions. Then I have to invert before I can divide or find the reciprocal of my second fraction or of my divisor. So I make my 1 third 3 over 1. Nothing will reduce, so I'm ready to multiply, and I end up with 30 over 1, which is the same thing as 30. This time, my question says, how many people can he feed? So, I'm coming up with the fact that I could feed 30 people. So, if you had 10 pounds of turkey, and you gave everybody a third of a pound, you'd be able to feed 30 people. So you need to be very careful when you're reading a problem, especially that involves either multiplying or dividing. And you have to decide whether you're repeatedly doing the same thing over or whether you're taking some large quantity and splitting it up into little pieces. When you're splitting it up, dividing it up, it's division. Let's look at one more example. Glasses that hold two and a half ounces are to be filled from a full pitcher that contains 32 ounces. How many glasses can be filled? So we have a large pitcher of some kind of drink that's filled and it contains 32 ounces. From that pitcher, we've got to pour out little glasses that are going to hold to half ounces. So we're going to start filling the individual little glasses. And the question is, how many glasses can we fill? Well, because we're starting with a big amount, ounces, and splitting those ounces up, it's going to be division again. We've got to take 32 and divide it by two and a half. Now, you need to be careful with this. See, in the problem, the two and a half was written first. Here you see the two and a half. Here you see the 32. So the two and a half was written before the 32. But it's the 32 that's getting divided up, the large number. So you need to put the 32 down first. If you don't, you will get the reciprocal of your answer instead of the correct answer. So make sure you put the large number that you're dividing up down first. So in order to work the problem, I need to put a 1 under the 32, and I need to make this into an improper fraction. So I have 32 ones divided by 5 halves. And then it's tempting to reduce, but remember you can't reduce in division. It has to be multiplication before we can reduce. So we need to find the reciprocal of our second fraction, which will make that 2 fifths. Now look and see if we can reduce. And when you look at that, you'll find that we can. So we have to go ahead and multiply. Numerator by numerator gives us 64. Denominator by denominator gives us 5. So our answer is 65 fifths. But since we're trying to find how many glasses we can fill, we really need to divide that out because that didn't have any meaning for us. So let's divide 5 into 64 to see how many glasses we can fill. 
5 goes into 6 one time. 1 times 5 is 5. Bring down a 4. 5 goes into 14. Two times. Two times five is ten. And we have four left over. So we end up with twelve and four fifths for our answer. Now the question, if in case you've forgotten, the question was how many glasses can we fill? So if we were actually filling up glasses and we came up with an answer of 12 and 4 fifths, what that means is if you were pouring out that water, you could fill up 12 glasses, or whatever's in your pitcher. You could fill up 12 of the glasses, but you couldn't fill up the whole next glass. You could only fill up 4 fifths of it. So the real answer to the problem, since it says how many could you actually fill, would really be you could only fill 12 glasses. That extra glass would only be four-fifths of the way full. So you could only fill 12 glasses. Now I'd like for you to do some practice problems to see if you can read the problem and decide what operation to use. The first one, Sarah receives a paycheck of $950. We'll assume this is her monthly paycheck. If one-fifth of her check is spent on food, how much is spent for food? The second problem, Samuel bought 15 candy bars. If he eats five and one-fourth candy bars, how many are left? Then number three, 10 pounds of hamburger is bought to make patties. If each patty is one-fourth of a pound, how many patties can be made? After you've copied these problems down, cut the tape off to work the problems. When you think you have them correct, cut the tape back on to check your answers. Here are the answers to the practice problems. Number one, $190. Number two, nine and three-fourths candy bars. Number three, 40 patties. 